Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Another long day, late night. So today I wanted to talk about this. What does amplification and misinterpretation have to do with anything? Why does it matter? Right? So why does amplification and misinterpretation matter? So I'll get to that in a minute. As we always do, relax. Allow your breathing to slow. And even if you don't have a lot of lung capacity, do what you can within the capacity you do have. Because I can assure you, being tight, constricted, shallow breathing feels dangerous. And regardless of your lung capacity, a relaxed body, breathing, slower, more naturally, conveys safety, all right? It matters. That's how you can utilize your body to send safety up to your brain, your subconscious. So, what does amplification, or why does amplification and misinterpretation matter? So, In my research, in my view, what I believe happens is in this mind-body-space TMS perceived danger, I think what happens is we have normal sensations coming from the body, whatever it may be, normal sensations coming from the body. But due to the fear and the hypervigilance, they get amplified in the brain. So what may feel normal Normally, um, it comes through to the brain in an amplified manner. And then when the brain is already operating through the lens of fear and always looking out for danger, it interprets, it misinterprets this amplified signal coming from the body as dangerous. And if you've been following me for any length of time, I've put forth the concept that the brain's perception of danger is what creates symptoms or pains. And so amplification and misinterpretation matters because I think it, it pretty well explains what is going on. So once we understand how the system works, that it's the perception of danger and it's actual normal sensations from the body being amplified due to fear, hypervigilance, right? That amplifies the signal, and through the lens of fear and danger, the brain goes, oh no, pain, symptom. And so I think it's really important from a core knowledge standpoint to understand that pain doesn't mean anything other than the brain's operating on misinformation and fear. The misinformation is the amplified normal nervous system signal from the body to the brain, but it's amplified. And if you're terrified or you're afraid or there's even a subconscious perception of, I think I've got a bad hip, back, neck, head, whatever, the brain, through that lens of danger, is going to interpret that amplified signal as trouble, bad stuff, danger. So... What do we do with this? Well, recognizing it is certainly something that can help you dial down the fear. I've talked about it a lot and recently, why accurate knowledge is the antidote to fear. And when you recognize that your brain and nervous system is not malfunctioning, you know, there's a lot of people who talk about dysregulated. If you want to call amplified dysregulated, you can, that's fine. I'm not going to disagree with that. Um, but I think your nervous system is working so well that things are amplified and it's very protective, overprotective. And it's our job, your job, to really start to teach your brain that these amplified signals coming from the body are actually normal and we can turn down the volume on those signals 
we can notice things. We can notice the pains. We can notice the symptoms. And make a real strong commitment and attempt to respond to them calmly. And make a commitment to say, I am not going to freak out because I know what it is. And no matter how colorful and how much it hurts or feels wild, I don't have to buy into the fear because I know what's going on. And I'm not going to fuel the misinformation by responding as if something horrible is actually happening. By definition, TMS, perceived danger pain, means your body's okay. By definition. So why freak out when you're getting these amplified signals and the brain's interpreting them and turning on pain? It's just a miscommunication, really. And so we fix the data, we dial down the fear, and we do that consistently, calmly, with confidence, clarity, certainty. And the brain can start to realize Dan's not concerned with this stuff. So I, the brain, don't need to be. So amplification and misinterpretation does matter because it really helps you understand what's going on in this system called the human body and the brain and nervous system. And it helps you understand that it's really nothing horrific. It's simply fear, attention, amplifying normal signals and through the lens of fear and hypervigilance and perceived danger, the brain goes, oh no. And when the brain perceives danger, symptoms or pains can occur or they can increase or they can at least persist. So I hope this makes sense. It does matter because accurate knowledge, deeply knowing that you're actually okay, You've, you've just got a noisy teenager who likes to crank the volume up to, to 10 on the record player or the CD player or his iPad or iPod, right? It's just amplified. And when it's amplified and you're terrified, the brain perceives danger and turns on symptoms. So let's dial down the amplification by not fueling it with more fear, more attention. Calmly respond with clarity to say, I know what's going on. Hey brain, shh, let's turn down the volume. We don't need to do this. So, love you folks. Hope this makes sense. Comment below if this is useful. Uh, if you're not a subscriber on YouTube, click the red subscribe button. And um, if you'd like some support, consider the group, painfreeugroup.com. And, uh, if you haven't yet seen the Fast Start playlist, it's a great beginning point to get some deeper knowledge and then uh, figure out what to do next. So, dansfaststart.com. And with that, I wish you all a great day. Hope you're all doing well. And as usual, I love you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.